Margaret takes a bus downtown back into New York after their class trip. She meets with her mother Barbara. They take their suitcase and meet grandmother Sylvia. They move the suitcase upstairs into their apartment. She hugs her father, Herb. She finds out they are moving out of New York and she doesn't want to because she will lose friends and their grandmother. But her mother convinces her that she won't have to work as an art teacher anymore and will be around more. They have a group hug. Margaret sits in her room for the last time. She begs God to stop them from moving out of the city. She waves bye to grandma. They move to New Jersey. She meets Nancy, another girl from the sixth grade. She invites her to run under sprinklers with her. She lets Margaret borrow her swimwear. Nancy starts practicing kissing her bed. They go play in the sprinkler. She meets Evan and his friend Moose. He asks Margaret to ask her dad if he can mow their lawn for five dollars. Their session is cut short and Margaret is forced to go home. Margaret talks to God again and begs for a bigger chest. She gets ready for her first day of school. She finds out dad has a lawnmower he wants to use. She goes to school and meets Janie and Gretchen. She meets her teacher, Mr. Benedict. Margaret gets a note in the middle of class to meet after school. Barbara looks at her canvas paintings and moves them into a different room. Margaret gets home and talks to Sylvia. She asks if she wants to come back to New York for a show and stay overnight. They confirm the plans and Margaret rushes out to go to Nancy's place. They decide for their secret club. They have rules. You must wear a bra. If you have a period you must tell, a boy book about who you like. Margaret thinks about which bra she wants. She tells her mom about it. Barbara goes to school to have the PTA meeting. She meets Jane Wheeler, Nancy's mother. Barbara volunteers to be on different committees. They have a research project and Mr. Benedict advises her to research on religion because their family is torn on what belief Margaret should have. Margaret finds out that Barbara's parents disowned her when they found out she was marrying a Jewish person because they were devout Christians. Margaret goes to buy her first bra. They have their group meeting and Margaret lies about the boy she likes to fit in. Nancy tells them to do a dance to make their chest bigger. I must! I must decrease my bust! Margaret takes the bus back to New York to see Sylvia. They go watch a play. Margaret wants to go to Sylvia's Jewish temple. She goes to the temple. She thought it would be much more. Barbara doesn't want Margaret to get into religion until she is older. They look at male reproduction organs. My brother looks like that. How do you know? He walks around naked. I see it. It's not a pleasant They look at Playboy magazines. They do more dance moves. Margaret goes to a Christian church. Moss plows their walkway. Barbara decides to write a letter to her parents. They find out they're invited to Norman Fisher's birthday party. A weird kid, but a big birthday party. They all get dressed. They get to the party and gossip about Laura, a girl who has grown a chest. They play spin the bottle. Norman kisses Janie. They decide to play for two minutes in the closet and Freddie gets Laura. Philip, the hottest guy in school, picks 12 Margaret's number. He kisses her on the lips. She enjoys it. Nancy is jealous of her. Margaret doesn't know what religion she wants to be. Barbara is bored cutting out fabric stars for the school. She starts painting a bird, but the doorbell scares it away. Jane comes by to grab the stars. She is convinced to do another allotment of stars because the other people made them lopesided. A teacher talks to them about their changing bodies. They learn about menstruation and they make it a race to see who will get their period first. Barbara tells her not to worry about it. Gretchen was the first person to get her period. Margaret begs God for a period to be a normal girl. Margaret and Janie go by their first sanitary napkins. Margaret puts on her first sanitary napkin. She finds out Nancy got her period before her. Sylvia tells Margaret she's gonna move to Florida to a hotel with people her age and Margaret should visit. Margaret goes out with Nancy's family and Moose, her real crush. They watch a show and get dinner. Margaret is forced to go to the bathroom with Nancy. She starts crying and asks for her mom. Margaret quickly gets her. She finds out she was crying because she got her period. Margaret gets a birthday present to go to Florida. They get different seats because they're studying in different countries. Philip pinches her for her birthday. Margaret walks home and hates Philip and Laura with her big chest. She hates Nancy because she is a liar. She just wants to go to Florida. Margaret studies with Laura and she starts spouting rumors about Laura letting boys feel her, she walks off, and Nancy catches up to try and apologize. She follows Laura into a Catholic church. She feels bad about picking on Laura and doesn't know if she wants to be friends with Nancy. Margaret runs off before confessing. Barbara finds out her parents want to see her and meet their granddaughter. Margaret finds out she isn't going to Florida because Barbara's parents are visiting. They go pick up Paul and Mary from the airport. They find out Sylvia and Morris, Herb's parents have come too, they have dinner. They start trying to 
convert Margaret to Christianity, but Sylvia says Margaret has already gone to the temple meaning she is Jewish. Margaret screams about how she doesn't believe in God and runs off. Margaret hands in her assignment about how there is no one out there, not God. She cries alone in the toilet. Barbara apologizes for what happened the other night. Margaret dances with Laura. Barbara quits the committees. They pack so Margaret can go to Florida. Margaret talks to Moose for the first time, and she finds out she got her period. She thanks God. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.